This is a 4 plus dense brunescent brown root beer cataract in an 89 year old patient. Her best corrected vision is count fingers at two feet. As you can see, her pupil does not dilate well, so we place some iris retractors. These types of cataracts have a higher complication rate due to the fact that the cataract is more challenging to remove. The MyLoop made by Carl Zeiss is a device that we've used for these types of cataracts, but in my opinion, the MyLoop places a significant amount of stress on the zonules. And in this 89 year old patient, I'm concerned about zonular dialysis that may be created by using the MyLoop. Of course, we could try to chop this cataract, but these dense cataracts often do not chop as easily as there's usually a dense, leathery posterior plate to the cataract that is resistant to cracking. Recently, I've been using the Enamor Pre-Chopper manufactured by Duckworth and Kent and distributed by Crest Point Ophthalmics. And it has a very sharp tip that resembles an eagle's beak. Here's the Enamora Pre-Chopper as seen through the microscope. And you can see the very sharp tip and the cross action of the pre-chopper. And we use that tip to impale the nucleus, purchase it, and then divide it. If you're curious to find it, it is model 2818E, the Inamura Pre-Chopper model 2818E. And I have no financial interest in this product. I just started using it and I happen to like it. So here's how we use it. After we've created our capsular axis and performed a thorough hydro dissection, we introduce our phaco tip and create a central groove that's probably about half the thickness or one third the thickness of the nucleus. We fill the eye with a generous amount of viscoelastic and then we introduce the inner pre-chopper push posteriorly toward the retina and then expand the pre-chopper and you can see it creates a a split of the nucleus that's not all the way through and then we push the pre-chopper further toward the retina further toward the posterior capsule and spread it again and we continue that motion until we can see that we've broken through the posterior plate. We then rotate the lens 180 degrees, advance the groove just a little bit, refill the eye with viscoelastic, and then reintroduce the enamora pre-chopper, push toward the posterior surface of the cataract, expand the pre-chopper, and every time it expands, we're able to advance the pre-chopper further toward the posterior plate, which we're eventually able to break through. Once we've broken the lens into two hemispheres, then we, we can chop it more easily. So really we use the pre-chopper to split the nucleus in two, much like one would use the my loop for, but I believe this intermer pre-chopper is exerting far less stress on the zonules than a my loop. My loops are about a hundred and fifty dollars each. Uh, the Inamur pre chopper is about nine hundred and fifty dollars with taxes and shipping. It can be reused many many times, and I think over the long term, the Inamur pre chopper offers an excellent alternative that may be more cost effective than the MyLoop for removing these dense root beer brown or black cataracts. This patient did well, and this is what the eye looked like at the conclusion of the case. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you'll consider using this Inamura pre-chopper. Thank you for your time and attention. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video.